Hello there. You caught me sunbaking. What do you think you're doing, eh? You wanna know what I've been doing in LA? Well, let me tell you. So we've been here a couple of days now. We've done a few things already, but I can't get over the nightmare that we had on the first night. When we finally arrived at LA airport and we found our place to stay, it was in a neighborhood which was very close to Compton. Yes, the one of the most dangerous places in America to be. We were staying near there. The place that we were staying wasn't very nice, so Daniel wanted to get a refund and actually leave the place where we were staying. This was about midnight, so we had absolutely no place to stay. We went hunting around some motels, but everywhere was full, so we just had to stay in the car. By far, that is probably one of the worst nights I've had. I was just so uncomfortable. I was so jet lagged and tired. I was just not in the mood for anything. I really wanted to just pack my bag up and just go home that is that is how bad I, I felt um, but we survived the next day so when we turn up our Airbnb I saw like bars and all windows all around the place people yelling and banging about it wasn't really a nice atmosphere to be I've never had such an awkward encounter where I had to say to the host we're leaving I, I didn't want to say to him yeah your place is an absolute crap hole so I just had to make up a story and say yeah um, we've got a friend who's just coming to town and we're gonna stay there and we're taking all of our suitcases for the night. It was just so awkward when he said to me, I'd really appreciate it if you told me what the real reason was. And I was like, no, 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 um, we're just, just meeting a friend. I'll be back tomorrow. I hate disappointing people. And I see the look on his face, it's just, Oh, so awkward. But what tops it off even more is that because we're in such a rush to leave the place, I not only left my butter and my spinach, but two rolls that I made, I left them in the fridge. So Raphael is gonna have a field day tomorrow. But it was quite fun the next day, having woken up in a car and then going to Walmart and brushing your teeth. It was quite nice living life as a homeless man. I have just spent the night in a car, <laughs> and now I am brushing my teeth in a Walmart restroom. I'm loving LA so far. We trekked over to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and checked all of the massive amount of stars on the floor and the Chinese theatre where the famous actors and musicians get their handprints and their footprints. It was such a surreal moment just knowing that all these hundreds of celebrities have been walking on the same footsteps where I was and you just get so distracted because you're not only looking at the floor trying to find your most famous celebrity but also at the same time you're trying to look at the surroundings and see the shops and the signs and all the amazing lights and scenery. It's very distracting looking down and looking up all the time. It's, it's very peculiar. All the different casts on the floor. There were so many different celebrities going back a few years ago, but really recent as well. Like some of them like 2015. It's quite a humbling experience knowing that, you know, not so long ago that these famous actors were right here. I believe I have done something very bad and fed one seagull and now they have all come. Okay, I have no more food for you. Leave me alone now. No more food. Okay, one more. Oh no. Okay, all right, you've had enough. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Always making friends, me. And we finished the day at the Griffith Observatory. Uh, this is uh, on top of the mountain, uh, pretty much one of the highest points of LA, I think. It was such a beautiful view, just seeing everything lit up at night. And the Griffith Observatory is not only famous for having one of the world's biggest telescopes, but also it's uh, a known location in films. Hundreds of films and hundreds of famous actors have filmed at this location, so it was quite a, a nice bit of history, really, to be there at the same time. There's lots of different interests and exhibitions and interactions that you can do all to do with space and telescopes and they even give you a chance to look through their big telescope and look at the uh, uh, the stars in the sky but the more specifically the uh, nebula I think it's called so that was definitely quite an experience all right guys all right we're all friends here no one needs to get hurt Help me. The next thing that we wanted to check out was the Hollywood sign. Now, I know there's many different places that you can go to actually see the sign, but we wanted to be very close as possible. So the only thing that we could think of doing was literally hiking up the mountain. The mountains are literally like this steep, so I don't know how the hell we got up it and down, but we managed to do it, and it was trespassing everything. I don't think we're allowed to be up there, but we did it anyway. We have trekked up the mountain, a lot of trespassing, but we made it to the Hollywood sign. There it is. I think I'm gonna go down this mountain before we uh, please come after us. Now they brought the whole army and they're, I think they're ganging up on me. I'm not quite sure what to do. They're flying at me and everything. Just leave me alone. Oh my God, there's loads of them. Jesus. 
I just want to sit here in peace and eat my biscuit. We also had a cheeky look at some of the rock bars on Sunset Strip. We had a look at places from the Whiskey Go-Go, a really well-known music venue. Also the Rainbow Bar, a great bar where I believe lots of legendary rock artists drink there from uh, like Led Zeppelin to I think Motley Crue and Slash. That was their like local place to hang out. Um, and we also checked out the Viper Room, legendary which used to be owned by Johnny Depp and also legendary in other unfortunate reasons but the actual musician uh, River Phoenix, uh, he died right outside the front doors. This is our last day in LA for the time being, we're going to be going to Las Vegas and Arizona doing all those places around there and then we're going to be coming back to LA in a week's time so we'll be doing some more things then. Hi there guys, thank you so much for watching that video, please don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't seen my previous video then shaboom! It's right there in front of you. And if you're into that whole social media thing, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram so you can stalk me to your heart's content. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. See you next time, guys.